Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to create a classic children's game called Hangman in Linux using ChatGPT. I'm not gonna write a single line of code. All I'll be doing is asking ChatGPT some questions and I'll be cutting and pasting the output into my Linux server to test. Let's jump in. As a quick overview, you can ask ChatGPT a question and ChatGPT will respond with an answer, simple. But with ChatGPT, you can ask follow-on questions and ChatGPT will respond by taking those previous questions and answers into account and it will provide you with an updated response. So this means that you can coach ChatGPT into refining the answer you're looking for. And for this reason, it's best to start by asking something simple and then add features one by one and build up the vision that you have in your head using ChatGPT. This Hangman game is a great example and you're gonna see it in action right now. So we've used a simple sentence, create me a Hangman game in Bash. And this is it, writing out the, the answer. It's, it's amazing, it's great to see it when you do it for the first time. It gives some instructions afterwards just on how to run the game. What, what it's gonna do, how it works. And it also gives us some instructions on how to create a file, change the permissions, and then run it. So I'm just gonna create the file now. And I'm gonna come back, cut and paste all of the code it's given me. And then cut and paste that into the file. And then from here, just check it's not, it's all been correct, copied across. Then it tells you how to change the permissions and then to run it. So this is the first time running. Okay, it runs, which is good. We write letters in. It doesn't look like it's given us the right responses. It doesn't tell if it's get, if it gets anything wrong. The word was Linux and we did enter some words, so we need to make an update. So let's do that now. So the update I'm gonna make now is to tell it that I want it to store the previous guesses and display them so that as you make a guess, it gets displayed on the screen and also to show which letters are correct. So it's rewriting it. This is now four times speed. I've just cleared the file in my bash script. And now once it's finished writing out the script again, I'll cut and paste it in and we'll see what it does this time. Hopefully it's gonna be an improvement and an, and an iteration on the previous version. Okay, so let's cut and paste all of this in and we'll run it now and see what, what it does. Okay, so that's good. So what it's doing is it's listing out all my previous guesses. That's cool, that's what I wanted it to do, but it's not showing where those letters are. Let's watch this finish and then see what it says in. Okay, so the word was Linux, but it didn't guess it. So I think we're gonna to have to go back and tell it to make an update. Okay, so the update that we wanna make this time, it wasn't displaying the correct letters in the correct place on the word. So we're gonna tell it that there's a problem and that we need it to fix our script. And you can see there it actually apologizes says you're correct, and then it realizes what it's done wrong, and it's going in there now to correct that. So it's spitting it out. I'm doing this at five times the speed, so um, it's easier to watch. Again, it gives you a bit more information about what it had to change at the bottom to make it work. Now we're gonna copy the script onto the server and rerun it. This time it should be displaying the letters in the correct places, as well as displaying every letter and previous choice that we've made. So cut that in run the script, have a guess. Okay, so the first letter L is in the right place. So I think we know what the word's gonna be based on the previous examples. And in the future, we are gonna be um, using a dictionary sort of file with lots and lots of words in. Okay, so it's picking it up, that's all good. Brilliant, so we actually won the game, it's worked for us, happy with that, that's done what we wanted to do. Now it's time to move on to the next step. So for us, the next step we wanna add is some animation. So we want it to do you know, the traditional drawing book of um, a man hanging, in a way, in a sense, on a bit of paper. And it decided to use some ASCII. So I'm not sure why it did that. And it doesn't look that great from what we can see on the screen, but I thought we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So yes, it look, looks like he used ASCII art. So let's copy that in and see what it looks like. Um, I'm not so sure, but tell me what you think. So we put in our guesses and we're getting some very sort of strange lines on the screen, these little pipe symbols, which aren't really what we're looking for. So we lose the game and I decide to actually tell it that the ASCII format doesn't work and can you replace it with like the more traditional sort of bash characters that write out to the screen. So it, it then took it upon itself to rewrite this and this is where we hit some problems. So it may be because ChatGP is busy and it just can't do everything. But what's happening is it sort of gets to this point right kind of here and it stops. I don't know why it stopped, 
but that obviously isn't the full script. So I put the script in, do this example, try and run it, and obviously it doesn't run because it's it's not like I can see there's no FI, there's no escape from the loop. So I say, can you write it again? It didn't finish, and it tries to write it again. But I think what happens again is it stops. So again, slightly sort of annoying because I know it's more than capable of doing this. So I tell it again, it didn't finish. Please rewrite the script. And it tries again. But it looks like it's only written from the for loop. So yeah, so it does actually get to the end, which is good. So now I'm thinking, OK, let me get it to do it one more time. Yeah, so I get it to run run it one more time and do the complete script. I just need to scroll down so we can see. And then if it works, use it. But I think what's actually going to happen is it will sort of get stuck again and fail. And when it fails, I actually can't paste two bits together from two separate outputs just, just to get it to work. And then we actually can move on and see the game playing. So it's not that it made a mistake. It knew what it was doing. But for some reason, it wouldn't print out everything again. So again... I tell it the script didn't finish out, didn't finish writing out completely. Can you please do it again? And then it tries to do it again. And it stops again in a very similar place, if not the same place. So I asked it to print out from onwards from one section. And then I put that first section in, cut and paste, and then I come back and get the second section and then cut and paste that in. And then when I run it, we can see that it's taken the right shape. We're looking at the man getting formed out of the characters, but we do have an extra leg there and we don't want that. But the first thing I want to do is to take away the words that we're using at the very beginning. So I'm going to tell it to update the script again to remove the words with those Linux things. We'll spotlight that in a second and replace it with a file of random words instead, or at least a file of words, and it can just choose its own random words. There you see, we're going to replace those at the top, and we're going to make them into one file full of lots of words, and it's going to pick one at random. And it's telling us how to do it, it's giving us the code. So I've just gone to a Hangman Words website, I've created a words.txt, I've edited, I've cut and pasted all the files in, I've saved it, and then when I go back, all I need to do is to take the section that I need and copy it into my script, into the right place. So I'm just replacing that with the new section. There's actually copied too much there. Let's just take those lines out. And now when we run the script again, we should be using the new words from the words.txt file. So this should be a lot harder because they're quite difficult. So here we go, let's see if I can guess it. Got two letters. Our man's getting there. Oh, I mean, he looks technically dead. So let's just carry on. Ah, so yes, look, we've got some extra letters there. Um, sorry, extra legs. So what we now need to do is go back and ask it to update the code so that we only get the right amount of legs. Okay, so I literally say, I get extra legs in the animation. Can you make the animation match the number of guesses? So again, it apologizes. It goes off, starts to write out the new code version. I'm going to tidy up my code now because all I'm going to do is replace the section of the actual animation itself and replace it with what is in the new version. So I delete all that, add the new version in, give it a little tidy up, and then we should be good to run that any second now. Okay, so now we run it. So what we're looking for is not running out of legs. So it looks like it does still die a little too quickly in terms of the hangman game, but we don't get any extra legs. We didn't get the word right, and that's it. So this brings this sort of demo to a close. I hope it's kind of given you an insight into how you can use ChatGPT to kind of achieve what's in your mind and your vision. Um, don't just start out with the most complicated thing in the world. It works really well if you iterate. You start with something small and then you add features and build it up that way. And then you can tell it to change things along the way. You know, the whole fact that it can look at previous questions and responses and answers and give you a new version based on that previous information is really good. So, yeah, have fun with it. Enjoy it. 
um, try and use it as a tool in your work. So what I do is I, I think of it as a trusted advisor. Like it's the person I go to to ask the questions, but I've got all hundred of those people in one place. And that's how I treat it. So if you treat it the same way, you should get on really well. But I do not think we're quite there in terms of losing all of our tech jobs. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.